How you doing? This is Mark and today I'm going to be going through building a smoke machine that I can use to test for vacuum leaks on a car. Uh, you know, I've been wanting to build one of these for quite a while and I've seen different variations of it on the internet, but you know, this is going to be my version. So I've got a five gallon container over here and the good thing about it is it's got a locking lid or a lever. Got a gasket on the inside. Also picked up a small pail. Got some baby oil that should produce the smoke. Got a dispenser bottle. Some washers. And the heat source that I'm going to use is just a regular soldering iron. Got a couple wicks over here. And also got a switch. So I can turn on the iron, turn it on and off. Also have the plates and the housing for the switch. And I've got an indicator light, 110 indicator light, and also a quick connection kit for the hose. Naturally, got the hose. And I've also got a inflation kit. It's used to, uh, you know, inflate basketballs and so on. The other thing that I have here is some concrete. You'll probably wonder what I'm going to do with that, but I'll go ahead and show you. And I also have my old hose from my air compressor that I never use. So, you know, uh, really I don't know if I'm going to wind up using all this stuff or, you know, if I have to add to it. But anyway, you know, once I start building it, I'll adjust if I have to. New. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is prepare these hose connectors so that they'll be able to be drilled into the lid there where I can hook up the hose. Uh, I've got four washers but the washer holes are a little bit too small so I'm going to have to drill them out a little bit or use a file so that uh, the connector will fit flush. Right now the holes like I say are just a little bit too small so it's not fitting flush up against it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I've got two of the male connectors and since I can't find any bolts that will go on, this, on the thread, I'm going to sacrifice two of the female connectors that I have here. Anyway, I got two of the female connectors so that right here so that I'll be able to screw them in and, and use them as uh, the nuts. So I'm going to just cut this little piece off right here and just use them as a nut. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Drill this out a little bit so that it fits in there flush up against it. Okay, it's still not fitting, so I'm going to have to drill it out a little bit more yet. Okay, <clears throat> so that's what I want right there where it's up against their flush. So I've got three more to go. Okay, so I've cut the the female air connectors here with these connectors, and then I come up with two of the nuts here. Uh, but what I found out is that I really can't uh, tighten it very well, so I'm gonna wind up having to use three washers per connection. So that means I've only got four. I'm gonna have to go out go out and buy some more. Uh, I've already drilled a hole and put one in over here and I'm going to go ahead and silicone put some silicone all around in this area to go ahead and uh, stop any smoke from getting out from the side. Okay, so I've cut the notch here and again I'm going to go ahead and use this to cradle the uh, soldering iron in place. I also drilled uh, three holes and I plan to just hold it in place just with some wire. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wick 
and the wick is made out of fiberglass and it should soak up the baby oil and it shouldn't burn so I'm going to go ahead and place the wick right on the soldering iron and then just secure it with some wire that will go ahead again and hold in place and I'll go ahead and place this inside the bucket here you may have to trim it a little bit but uh, that's the concept that I'm going to go ahead and use okay so I've got the wick on there and I guess you can tighten it up any way you can uh, but what I did is I took a piece of wire ran it right through the wick and then came back here and then wrapped it with tape just so it pull, puts a little bit of tension on it then also wrapped it up over here and twist uh, twisted it just so that it will go ahead and hold that in place okay so I've also secured the uh, soldering iron in here with the uh, wire so it's holding it pretty good it shouldn't uh, fall so this is what I'm going to be doing is put these inside the bucket and then I'm going to drill a hole so that the cable can come out this way and that's where I'm going to put the switch in also mount it to the side over here uh, I'm also going to go ahead and take some concrete and I'm going to add a little bit of weight to this by mixing some concrete and uh, that way there it shouldn't tip or anything like that uh, just give probably about maybe three to maybe six pounds of concrete in there and I'll just mix it and then just place the little pail inside there and it should be good to go okay so I've mixed the concrete and I mix it into a different pail mix it first with a different pail and then just poured it inside but uh, just have to make sure that this stays, stays in there pretty good. And uh, I probably got about 10 pounds in there. So it should stop it from tipping over, you know, while you're using the hoses or anything like that. Okay, so I've got the cement is all dry in there and the pan is all secure. I've gone and added my switch my electrical switch uh, that's connected to the soldering iron now the soldering iron only has two wires okay it doesn't have a ground but since I was going to be using this in the garage where it might be wet I've also added a ground wire here and changed out the plug so that it's a groundable type plug so the wire is actually running back to here so plug it in Go ahead and turn the switch on. I've got my indicator light here that shows that it's on. So everything is working. It's definitely heating up already. So everything appears to be good. Okay, I'm pretty much, I think I'm done with this. Uh, there's a few things that I added. Uh, one thing is I have this valve I put in here and it runs into this dispenser bottle. And in the dispenser bottle, I'll be able to put the baby oil in there and uh, you know without any pressure running at that time I'll be able to go ahead and open this valve and then squirt the uh, baby oil right into the can without having to take off the lid. Uh, since I have this going directly over the top of the uh, soldering iron I also made a couple little lines over here on the outside of the can so that uh, once I put the lid on everything should line back up uh, the other thing that I did is I put a little holder here to hold the bottle in place and if that doesn't work too good I can always go ahead and add my beer and it'll hold my beer in place but, uh, anyway that's the purpose of that little <coughs> PVC cap and uh, I've got all my hoses connected. I put a gauge on here. I'm not sure if it's uh, you know accurate or anything like that, but it costs just as much as one of these valves. So I thought, just thought it might look a little bit better or work better. And I can make my uh, adjustment here of the air that's going into the canister. And then it exit out. The air exits out this portion the second one and I've also got an adjustment over here for the flow 
probably could get by again just with this one here just by the air coming into the can and exiting out this way but just thought again I'd have a little bit more control at the end here with that piece so really there's nothing else to do I've put a label on here mark smoke machine so pretty much think that it turned out the way that I wanted it to so the last thing to do is just make sure it works okay I've got it turned on here and it's been uh, running for about a minute or so so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this lever a little bit I've got some baby oil in here there's no air applied at this time because the bottle would be uh, bulging you know from the air pressure so tip that over and I'll go ahead and squirt some of this inside there Oop, I must not have this set yet there we go okay so now I'm filling up the canister and it's also dripping on the soldering iron so I'm going to go ahead and close that so that no air escapes now once I plug it into the air compressor I've already got the air compressor charged so I'm going to just connect this to the end here and deliver some air into the canister okay I've got some air pressure in the canister and it's already starting to deliver some smoke as you can see this is quite a bit of smoke and that should be able to uh, hook that into your one of your uh, vacuum lines and you should be able to find the uh, you know, find out where it's leaking at so that's delivering quite a bit of a good smoke if that doesn't find it find the leak I don't know what will again the smoke coming out quite a bit of smoke So, to me it looks like this is uh, pretty successful and didn't have to pay four or five hundred dollars or, or whatever they want for a smoke machine. So, pretty satisfied.